Erie, Pennsylvania. Known for its manufacturing, shipbuilding, and tourist attractions. But there's another part of the city that is not known to most. A community of artists and fans that you almost have to be a part of to fully understand. This is their stories. This time on Inked and Erie, we'll talk to Melissa Hale, a Florida ink star who came home to her roots to open a boutique shop like no other. And Candy, an art teacher and artist who gets a cover up to better represent her growth as both an artist and a person. Plus, Candy gets new ink to add to her collection of tattoos that celebrates her Native American heritage. These stories and more next on Inked and Erie. on IMTV. About 15 miles outside of Erie is the small borough of Waterford, Pennsylvania. Home to Love Letter Tattoo, a quaint boutique shop owned by Melissa Hale. For over a decade, Melissa earned her reputation as a world-class artist in Central Florida, a region known for its rich history in ink and for producing some of the best artists in the game. She's recently returned home to Pennsylvania to get back to her roots of art and her passion for ink. Well, I got my first tattoo when I was 14, and I just knew right then and there. I had always been involved in art. I had always been an artist. All through junior high, high school, all of my elective classes were art-related. So when I got my first tattoo and I saw uh, the type of artwork that people were wearing, I thought, yeah, I can do this for sure. And so after I got my tattoo, I started hanging around at the local tattoo shop and just kind of watching and observing what was going on. And that led into helping the artists and gaining an official apprenticeship. I became the shop do girl and ran errands and picked up lunches and did all that kind of stuff until they let me start drawing. And a few months after I started drawing, they let me work on a couple of friends, asked me if I wanted to start tattooing, and that was that. What inspired you to get into inking to begin with? Well, it looks like a relatively easy and fun job. A lot of freedom. Uh, the rough and tough rock and roll guys that were tattooing back then were driving up to work and parking their Harleys on the sidewalk and you know, walking in and acting all tough and listening to hardcore music. and. Uh, it was a lot better than my parents' daily grind of hating their jobs. Meet Candy, an art teacher and artist looking to cover up an old tattoo that no longer represents her journey in life as both an artist and a person. So it's right here. Oh, cool. It's just a little thing. It it's looks not... so much bigger on the picture oh, that's, you sent. That's not... <laughs> um, so I shrunk it because I kind of just want it... Like, that's what I drew, but then I shrunk it. So you want it just big enough to do the yeah. job then? Yeah, okay. that's what I'm thinking. Okay. So here's the shrunken version. Okay. And then this is like how it goes over and covers, because some of the green is still showing. Like I couldn't like make it exactly covering. Sure. And so if, it, depending on what you think, like some of this isn't green in, in the lizard, but I added it just to make it look like it's supposed to be there. Okay. So well, you would see. know better than me. You did your homework. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm taking it. The long pointy part is to cover his tail. Yes. Okay. Did you measure this, or did you just? Guess? I measured it, and then oh. and then guess too. You did a good job. Did I? You did. Yay. All right. So really, I'm thinking that with just a few very minor alterations to uh, the points and curves here and there, this will cover in the black areas perfectly. Ooh. So if you don't mind if I just no. alter a swirl where needed, no. I think this will do the job. It just felt like time. 
The old tattoo didn't really mean anything, so I needed something that did. And you're an artist. Mm -hmm. And you designed the art that mm -hmm. you're getting done today. Yes, I did. Tell me a little bit about that. What inspired this specific piece of art? Well, I, um, I teach art. I'm an art teacher. And um, I was teaching the kids henna. Uh, Mendy is like when you put the henna plant on your skin and they put it in different designs. And it dyes your skin. And the designs from the Middle Eastern countries are really beautiful and really different from anything we have here in America. So it really piqued my interest. It was really interesting to me. And the spirals are also what drew me to it. And when I started looking up spirals, um, they mean growth and they mean moving on to like your next enlightenment. And so that's sort of what I'm hoping is to keep growing and keep moving towards enlightenment. So the spirals in the design are sort of a representation of that. When we come back, Melissa gives Candy her cover up. We head back to Bay City where Jimbo inks an Indian princess. And we'll meet a hydrocephalus patient who gets a tribute to herself. You're watching Inked and Eerie on IMTV. Do you want to get inked and eerie? If you've got an ink story to tell, or if you are an artist or tattoo shop in the Erie County area and want to be featured on our show, visit us at inkedandeerie.com and click the casting button to apply. You must be 18 or older to be featured, and artists must have a current bloodborne pathogen certificate. Visit us at inkedandeerie.com today. How has your life changed since being on Inkton Erie? How's my life changed since what? Being on Inkton Erie. Actually, it's changed a little bit. My business has been picking up. Thanks to you guys. And I feel like a celebrity. <laughs> um, tell me about the piece that you're going to get today. I'm getting a Native American woman um, on the side of my I think he's doing my left leg, upper. Um, What's that mean to you? Uh, good, yeah, I love the uh, Indian culture, so I've always wanted to... I just think they're, you know, beautiful. They have a beautiful culture, so... Do you have Native American heritage? Yes. Yeah. What are your other tattoos? Um, actually, the one on my leg I got here years and years ago. It's a dream catcher. Um, I have... One around my belly button, Harley Davidson, my name, and roses on my back, lower, and then a rose with my son's birth date, and then this one. What's that one? Um, it's actually it's Indian roses. That's basically what they called it. Um, I had this done last year. Yeah. Now you said you have a tattoo on your lower back. How low is it? It. Trans stamp, I guess that's what they call them. <laughs> that's where I was going. How do you f how do you feel about that term? Tramp stamp? Yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> Are you nervous, Candy? No.
dimensions. What do you think? You happy? Yes, I love it. Great job, Jimbo. <laughs> Okay, Kenny, let's hear it. Where were you inked? The Bay City Tattoo by Jimbo. <laughs> You're watching Inked and Eerie on IMTV. The old tattoo didn't really mean anything, so I needed something good to. And the designs from the Middle Eastern countries are really beautiful and really different from anything we have here in America. So it really piqued my interest. It was really interesting to me. And the spirals are also what drew me to it. Um, they mean growth and they mean moving on to like your next enlightenment. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Right. Nice and relaxed. Comfortable. Right. Okay. You know, it's like someone pinching you in the same spot for a hundred times. So it, it hurts, but it's not like unbearable kind of thing. Okay, we're ready to move on to the next phase. All right, when you're ready, go take a look. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. Here. Nice. I like the black, too. I do, too. I like it better without the color. Yeah. That was a good color. It's perfect size, too. That was good. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. I love it. When we come back, we'll meet Kayla, a hydrocephalus survivor who immortalizes her journey in ink. And we will talk aftercare with Melissa Hale. These stories and more when we come back. You're watching Inked and Eerie on IMTV. Meet Kayla. She's a hydrocephalus survivor who stopped by Bay City with her boyfriend Kyle to celebrate her victory with new ink. Tell me a little bit about um, the art that you're getting today. Okay, for what I'm getting, it's because December 5th, I was diagnosed with hydrocephalus. So that kind of changed my life a lot. So I wanted to get this so it can like represent it, like represent all this crap I had to go through. Can you tell me what hydrocephalus is? Hydrocephalus is when your spinal fluid stays stuck in your brain area and it makes your brain swell up. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and what, what kind of things have you had to endure because of it? I've already gone through two surgeries and I'm still, my doctor said I'm still in recovery from it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not cured of it? No, there's no cure for it at all. I'm going to have this for the rest of my life. 
what what is the rest of your life going to be like? Is it going to be treatments? Is it going to be? Are they going to? Are you going to be able to live a normal life or somewhat normal? They life? They said I should be able to live a normal life, but most likely every five years I'd have to go back for a surgery. What's the surgery involved? Well, right now the first surgery, what they did was they made a hole so that way the spinal fluid would go down naturally, but my brain reacted to it like a cut, so it healed back up. So the second one, they had to place a shunt in, and it's like a tube that goes from inside my brain down into my stomach. So if that shunt doesn't work, I'd most likely have to go back to get another one, or they have to try to figure out some way to fix it. Mm -hmm. Can you talk me through the art itself? I see you have, it's hydrocephalus? Hydrocephalus, yeah. Hydrocephalus. Um, and the, the word hope and the ribbon. What's that mean to you? To me, it's just like telling me everything that I've had to go through and all the people that's been supporting me and I have hope through all this because I know I'm going to be able to get past it. How does it feel? <laughs> yeah. It don't feel that bad. It's not bad. You happy? Yeah, very. <laughs> most artists will tell you aftercare is the most important part of getting a new tattoo. And aftercare can be as unique as your ink. So Melissa Hale shares her method with us. Okay, now my instructions are really simple. All you want to do is wash and moisturize three times a day. I, in fact, give you everything you need so you don't have to buy anything. And what you have in here is a basic soap. It's a mild Neutrogena. So wash your tattoo just with this. And when you shower, wash your tattoo last so that any shampoo or conditioners is washed clear out of it. Uh, and then right away, dry the best you can with a paper towel and give it a couple minutes to air dry and then put just a tiny bit of lotion on it. Okay. Uh, like you normally would on your body. Just barely enough that it soaks in and disappears. You don't want it too soggy. And that's it. Wash, dry, and moisturize three times a day. Great. Thanks. You're welcome. Now let me put a bandage on it. Okay. Why is aftercare so important? What happens if if you do it wrong or you don't do it at all? Uh, typically speaking, a tattoo will just scab over a lot thicker. It'll get really um, hard, thick, crusty scabs, and it'll just take longer to heal. Uh, and an another danger to that is in a flexible area, like especially here uh, or any place where you move a lot. Uh, a thick scab is prone to splitting and cracking, and once it breaks open, it can leave a little scar. So a good aftercare keeps your scab thin, it keeps it light, and it lets your new skin that's trying to grow uh, get some oxygen and breathe, and it heals faster.
next time on Inked and Eerie. It's our special Memorial Day episode featuring members of our armed forces paying tribute to their service. We'll talk to Nick Hanna at Game Over Tattoo, who does a cover-up on a U.S. Marine. Marine Corps sharpshooter Nate gets new ink to honor his brotherhood. And Army vet Jack Powers returns to Vicious Rumors to get a very special tattoo to signify his next journey. These stories and more next time on Inked and Earring.